Greece's parliament has approved fresh cutbacks worth more than 3 billion euros. It includes lowering the minimum wage and cutting pensions, as well as reductions in health and education spending. Massive protests against the measure are expected in Greece on Wednesday. Athens had to push through the new austerity legislation before the country could receive any of the cash from its second bailout package worth 130 billion euros. And after tense and prolonged discussions, Greece's rescue was agreed by Eurozone Minister last week and to talk more on what's ahead for the indebted country we're now joined live by Peter Schiff CEO at the investment company Euro Pacific Capital uh, Mr Schiff thank you very much indeed for your time so Greece is clearing the last of the hurdles on its way to receiving the bailout cash aren't the cuts that have been introduced are necessary evil well, they're not even evils. They're, they're necessary. In fact, you talk about reducing the minimum wage. That's a good thing. In fact, it would be better if they abolished it completely. Wages obviously have to come down in Greece. They're too high. They're uncompetitive, particularly the wages for government workers, because the private sector can't afford uh, these lavish pay packages. So, you know, you talk about austerity for who? Maybe for some of the government employees who have been living high on the hog, but it liberates the people because the Greeks are going to have to pay. The private, those in the private sector are going to have to pay for those salaries. So these are positive reforms. They're steps in the right direction. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think they're, they're they're going far enough I'd like to see more austerity yeah but 22% reduction in the minimum wage is going to be really tough and painful for ordinary Greeks but without the bailout the country would have gone well, bankrupt in March well, no, so would that be well, the minimum the minimum wage law is, is, is keeping a lot of Greek people unemployed because they're not worth the minimum wage and of course the alternative was not a reduction in the minimum wage because if they had not agreed to this and they had left the eurozone and gone to the drachma greek wages would still collapse it's because they would have inflation so instead of the minimum wage going down they would wipe out the value of the wages that they were earning so one way or another greeks were going to have to work for lower pay particularly those that are employed by government it's much better to earn uh, a diminished quantity of euros than have a whole bunch of drachma that don't buy anything on Monday, Standard & Poor's gave Greece a rating of selective default, but the country has agreed a reduction of more than 50% of its debt to uh, private creditors. Will this downgrade affect relations between Greece and the banks it owes money to? I, I'm having, I couldn't really hear you. Okay, just let me just let me repeat my question again. So uh, we know that uh, Standard and Poor's gave Greece a rating of selective default, uh, and the country has agreed a reduction of more than fifty percent of its debt uh, to private creditors. Will this downgrade affect relations between Greece and the banks it owes money to? Well, I, I think the relations are obviously uh, pretty pretty tenuous right now, and you know, over time, I don't think the Greeks can even repay half their debt. I mean, I know the, the bondholders have agreed to a haircut. I've said they're going to have to have a crew cut by the time it's all said and done, because I still think the debt is, is too large uh, for, for the Greek economy to handle. So I do believe they are going to have to go back to the drawing board and reduce it even further. Uh, but uh, if Greece eventually defaults anyway, what impact would it have on the rest of the world? Well. I don't think it's going to have much of an impact on the U.S. I think we have bigger problems in Greece anyway, and we're going to have to deal with those problems regardless of what happens in Greece. I mean, we, we, we can't pay our bills either. Our politicians have done the same thing as Greek politicians. Uh, but, you know, there's not going to be a European or an IMF bailout for the United States. We're going to have to swallow our medicine, uh, and it's going to taste a lot bitter when we swallow it uh, than when the Greeks swallow theirs. All right, Peter Shiv, CEO at investment firm Euro Pacific Capital. Mr. Shiv, thank you very much indeed. Sure, you're welcome.